Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series on the Pandas library in Python. And the question for today is, how do I change the data type of a Pandas series? All right, let's just jump right in with an example data set. So we're going to import Pandas as PD. And then the data set we're going to start with is uh, alcohol consumption by country. So drinks equals pd.read CSV. And then I'm going to use the bit.ly URL, bit.ly slash uh, drinks by country. Okay. So we run that. And let's take a look at the head. And we see six columns, four of which are numeric. And uh, let's actually take a look at the data types of these columns. And we use the D types attribute of the drinks data frame to find that out. And what we see is that three of our columns are integer columns. And uh, we've got one floating point column, the total leaders column. And then two columns which say type object, which basically means string. Okay, So country and continent are just strings. Now, let's pretend for a second that we want to convert the beer servings column to floating point, okay, rather than integer. So all we have to do is we use the series method. So we say drinks dot beer servings dot as type float, and that just means convert it to type floating point. Now, if you want to actually modify the data frame you know, you can either add a new column or I'm just going to overwrite an existing, the existing beer servings column. Okay. So we'll run that. And if we check the D types now, we'll see that it has changed and beer servings is now a floating point column. Now you might be wondering what's the usefulness of that. Um, and it's not the most useful example, I admit. Uh, you'll usually do this when, for example, you have a data file where the numbers are stored as strings. So when you read it into pandas, they're strings, but you want to do math on them. Well, to do math on a column, it has to be a numeric type, and you'd use something like this. You'd name the column as type float. Okay, So that's the more common use case for that. All right. Uh, I want to show you a follow-up question from the YouTube comments, which is from Eli, and let me show you that. And Eli asks, and we're going to look at number three here, how to define the type of each column before actually reading the CSV? Okay, great question. Thanks for that, Eli. Um, so what we're going to do is actually just change the data types during the CSV reading process. Okay, So I'm going to copy and paste this line. And all I have to do is add one more parameter, dtype equals, and I pass it a dictionary. And the dictionary key is beer servings. And the dictionary value is float. And if I do this and check the dtypes, you'll see that once again, uh, beer servings has been converted to floating point. So the only difference between this and above is that this method does it during the reading process. Up here, we converted it after the data frame had already been created. Okay. So I'm uh, going to show you one more data set, and we'll do another example with that. And uh, this is the data set of orders from Chipotle. So we'll say orders equals pd.read table. And it's bit.ly slash chip orders. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at it. And the column I want to focus on is the item price column. And you might be wondering, is that a float or is that some special currency type or what is that? And what you'll actually see is that pandas is storing that column as an object, meaning a string, because it doesn't really understand that these are numbers. So if you wanted to do some math with it, 
you're going to have to convert the type. Now, we saw in a previous video how if we want to remove, for instance, a character from a series like this dollar sign, you can use a string method. So we'll say orders dot item price dot stir dot replace and we'll say I want to replace the dollar sign with nothing. Okay. Now you might think that's enough but if you try to do like a, a mathematical operation on the series it will give you an error because even though I removed the dollar sign this is the rest of it is still a string. So I have to cast it to a float in order to uh, do any math with it. So when I cast it to a float, I can now do a mathematical operation on it. Okay. So as always, we're going to end with a bonus. And uh, for the bonus, I want to talk about the item name column. Okay. So uh, let's say orders dot item name and uh, we saw in a previous video about using the stir contains method to check for the presence of a substring. Chicken is what we're going to check for in this case. And it returns a series of trues and falses indicating whether or not a given substring was found in that column. Now, we've got trues and falses, but you can imagine a case in which we need these as zeros and ones. And for instance, if you were building a machine learning model and this was one of your input features, you'd need it to be numeric and you would use zeros and one to represent falses and true. And that's actually super simple. You can just say as type int and it has been converted to zeros and ones. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Please leave a question or a tip in the comments below and we can all help each other to learn. But that's it for today, so I hope to see you again soon.